Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today, I first want to tell you guys something before I start the video. I'm going to try to make it short, but um, I have some personal issues at the moment and I'm going to try to make this straight as fast as I can and hopefully it works out because it's really difficult for me to finish off this video because it happened while I was making it. So, let's move on bros. Never stuck to the past. It's, it's always keep going. Stay strong. So I was about to make a video about the Pascal coin. I'm gonna try to stay strong as I can in this video. It's gonna be really tough. Maybe there's a lot of cuts going on, but here we go. So first of all, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna learn you guys how to mine the Pascal coin. First of all, you need a Pol Poloniex account, just create one or sign in if you already have one. It's really simple and you only need to confirm your email. So just log into it and we're gonna retrieve our Pascal coin address, let's say. So when you go to balances, go to deposits and withdrawals in the right corner and scroll down until you find the Pascal coin. So it's called Pask or Pascal coin and click the deposit button. When you clicked it, you'll see an address, it's called the payment ID and it's a payment ID you will need later on in the video. Next up, you need to open the deposit address and if you want to show your QR code, that's also fine. But we only need the deposit address and the payment ID. So next up, we're going to pask.nanopool.org. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go there directly. But I want to tell you guys that you just have to go to the help button above there on the address bar and you will be redirected to getting started. So first of all, you just have to click the official miner for AMD. So you need a GPU or a CPU to mine this coin. Just click it and it will start the download and open it as a RAR file. Then just go to your desktop and make a new file, folder, let's say. Just call it a PASC miner. That's gonna be really useful, but I already use it. So let's put it PAS, Pascal miner it's, it's just like that then take every file inside the miner and put it inside the folder then when you arrive at the folder just open it and you'll see a few files as you know there's a start bet file just as in an ethereum miner or a monero one you just have to right click it because we need to edit this first of all you'll see address payment id worker and email your payment id is the one you got from Polonix. Polonix. Just copy it, it's the top one, it's underneath the QR code. Just copy it, open the file and paste it where the payment ID is. Next up we need the address, that's the bottom one over here, that's from Polonix. Then put it into the place of the address, call your worker something like um, this computer only has one sapphire. Let's call it Sapphire 1 and your email is optional so you can just put something in like test or let's use our real email. So when it goes offline you will be noticed that it's offline. Also like the other miners we're used to you can change it to U EU1 or United States like US1 but you can find it back on the nano pool over here. The fee is already 2%, at the start it was only 0%, but the minimum payout at the moment is 5 Pascal, but that's pretty fine for me. So what do you do after this? Just save the file and you're ready to go. The miner will mine if you just double click the miner and it will start mining like I am doing right now. As you can see, this card can hit about 470 mega shits per second for the RX 470 Sapphire 8 gigabyte. But of course I'm using OBS over here, so it will drain the hash rate a little bit. So the maximum I got out of it was 550 mega ashes per second and the lowest and very stable is 490 on my miners. So my miner is for some reason more efficient than this gaming PC. I'm not sure why because this one is using about 100 watts for the card and if I am on my miner they only use 75 watts. So that's pretty odd on why this uh, power usage on this card is way higher with the same hash rate as my minor cards. So I'm really looking out on how that one goes because this one even has a lower uh, 
core clock speed, let's say, compared to the other. Maybe if I decrease the memory clock speed, it gets a little bit more uh, efficient, but it seems to be making no difference at all. So I still need to figure that out, which one is the best clocks, but I can tell you the core clock is everything where this is all about. So the core clock speed inside your cards is gonna make the difference. Not the memory clock, because if I just put it really low, it's almost not affecting the hash rate, as you can see here. And I think Ethereum mining is based on memory clock and this one is based on the core clock. Because let's increase it to 1200 and you'll see a slight increase in the hash rates already. And there you go. So also the power usage just jumped up to 110 watts for this card. But we're hitting 500 mega ashes while using OBS. So we're not sure what it's all about. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video and it, it might take a few days before I upload another video. It's really tough for me to make this one and finish it all off. Hopelijk als je kijkt. Ik hou van jou, Ayla.